Hey guys, Wild Tiles appeared, and I know I promised you other footage from different games, but unfortunately, I picked a wrong time to start making commentaries, apparently. Um, as it turns out, my TV, my TV ended up busting upon the, upon maybe, I would say, at least a couple days ago, before I could get any more footage. I really wanted to give you guys something more like Bioshock 2 Online, or anything if I can actually find a lobby but anyway at least this footage gives me something to talk about something that's been on my mind lately which is Modern Warfare 3 I know that that's sort of um, really old news but honestly I want to address something that hasn't been ultimately addressed like it was in Black Ops and that would probably be what we are to expect from Modern Warfare 3 because as you all know um, at least those of you who have played Modern Warfare 2, that game is ultimately broken, to say the least. Um, and what I'm wondering is if this um, new, I guess, protege of the beginning will end up being as, um, as ultimately destroyed as its original predecessor. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Modern Warfare th 2, I love it. But, like I said, there are always some things in the Call of Duty franchise that just ultimately, ultimately almost destroy the game. Once again, totally love the series, but at the same time, there is that huge elephant in the room. Now, I'm going to introduce something huge. Something probably I will get tons and tons of dislikes for. And that is the concept of maybe, just maybe, they should take sniping out of Modern Warfare 3 altogether. Oh, I could just feel those dislikes coming. But ultimately, just hear me out. Just please hear me out. As you all know, sniping was ultimately rendered useless in Black Ops. I mean, it's still usable to a point and purpose. I mean, I still run around with the Wazoo, the WA-2000, I, I believe, and I'm able to get at least a semi-decent score with that. I'm not, I severely doubt I'll be getting any scores that are good enough to be published onto YouTube over it, but that only, I guess, that in a way strengthens my point. But when one really considers it, I would honestly say that to bring a snipe, a sniper rifle into a war zone ultimately doesn't make sense to begin with. And I know that there are going to be so many, so many people who disagree with me on this because I know how much of a huge, astronomically huge fan base that I guess sniping in Call of Duty has, which is probably why Modern Warfare 2 had such a high expectation rate and had such a brilliant start as opposed to Black Ops that was confirmed to have nerfed snipers. But that also brings another concept to mind about how ultimately the Call of Duty franchise has gone. Um, I try to imagine it sort of like this. The original Modern Warfare was, I guess, sort of the starting point of a big explosion. It didn't necessarily have as much steam as Modern Warfare 2 did, but it gave Call of Duty, I guess, the uplift that it needed in order to be considered one of the top video game franchises of all time. It's actually really interesting. Upon, um, upon the release date of Modern Warfare 2, I was actually at a movie with some of my family, and on our way there we had to stop by Best Buy in order to, uh, pick up, what was it, uh, I think it was dual, pre uh, dual processors of some sort, but outside of Best Buy, there was this huge, huge line of, I guess, Call of Duty fans who were anticipating Modern Warfare 2 and just stacking up at, I would say, probably 20 people, and that just... That just blew my mind that a video game could have that much power. I mean, I'm not exactly that old, but I grew up with Super Nintendo, and I never even, even imagined that there would be so much anticipation for one single game. But anyways, back to what I'm saying. 
yeah, I just ultimately wish that they would somehow find a figurative balance between um, sniping and not sniping, and that that line has been sort of blurred. Anyway, um, my time's coming to a close now. Um, give me your opinion, your thoughts about what I've said, and also I wish they'd take out Claymores and YouTubes. But that's another day. That'll be for another time. And as for now, I guess I will see you guys later.